Hey guys, Norris Morgan here. I'm making a quick video. Um, just come out back at the gym, enjoying the weather. Just why I like to come and journal, think about things, meditate. I like to meditate a lot, clear my head. Got a big field out here. I'm back. Matter of fact, I walk up in the field and walk around a little bit. I'm gonna try to make this video as brief as I possibly can. Take up y'all guys' time. Um, you see, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had a, quite a few people ask me about what I was talking about last Sunday. Now, last Sunday I did a Facebook Live, and, and what it was, it was nine reasons to strength train. And the seventh one was an, an improved insulin sensitivity. Now, this is a big topic. It really is. So, I, so I'll probably make more videos in the future, but I'm just trying to... Uh, do a bullet point on what what I exactly mean by that And I'm gonna try to Explain it the same way I explained it to them um, When when you when you strength train, okay Okay, say Let's go back. Okay, say You know, you don't work out anymore. You know some people we was in college or high school. We played We were active. We played sports I mean, you know, we strength train, okay? Your muscles are alive. Your muscles, you have a lot more muscle mass, okay? Your muscles are working optimally, all right? Like this channel, Optimum Life and Fitness. Now, as we get older and we become less active, more sedentary, sedentary, what happened is you think of, of your house, when you're not in a room or you're not using a room, what you do, you cut the lights off, okay? You shut it down because you're trying to, you're trying to economize, you're trying to save more energy. Well, that's the same thing your body does. Well, if your body's not using, if you're not using certain muscles, you know what? Certain muscle fibers don't even, it, it, they shut down, okay? So you know what? Now your body needs less sugar, okay? Now, guess... Let's touch on diabetes, for example. Okay, diabetes is when type two diabetes. Okay, let's make let's be clear about this. Type one diabetes is when your pancreas is not functioning anymore for whatever reason, and type two diabetes, your your pancreas is functioning sometimes normally for a lot of them, but the amount of insulin that's being produced is not being absorbed in the muscles, or it's not enough for the muscles to absorb the uh, carbohydrates and what I mean by that is insulin is chaperoned so without insulin being present your body cannot absorb carbs okay so your muscles need carbs for fuel all right that's all carbohydrates is is fuel for the muscle and somewhat for the brain and without insulin being without insulin being present it it will not absorb into the into the cell walls all right so because me eating a lot of carbohydrates over the years and not being active and not using your muscles, because remember it's fuel for the muscles, well, now you got less muscle that needs all that carbohydrates that you've been eating all these years. And guess what? It has nowhere to go. On top of that, the double barrel shotgun of this problem is that you eat so many carbohydrates and your, your pancreas have been producing overtime now your muscles are not sensitive enough for the amount of insulin that your pancreas been producing. So you go to the doctor, he says you have type 2 diabetes, now he puts you on more insulin, okay? But to make more insulin present, so what, your muscles can absorb it. But you have less muscle mass now, but you're less active, you don't need it, okay? Now, if you start working out, if you start using that muscle, if you start firing those muscle fibers again and they start to come back alive and you start cutting the switches on and muscles start firing up and you start gaining muscle mass, they need more carbohydrates, all right? So therefore, um, you won't have as much sugar floating around in your bloodstream, if that makes sense, all right? Um, so that's why working out, especially strength training is so important, especially with diabetics because I've had clients, clients that come off of insulin, okay? 
I mean, it's full blown diabetics on insulin twice a day and they no longer take insulin anymore. They, matter of fact, a couple of them don't even take any medication. No, no blood pressure medications, no cholesterol medication, nothing. That, that's how I seen, you know, I, I seen exercise affect people alive in such a positive way. Because this is not stuff I read in a textbook, okay? Yes, I read it in a textbook in school and college, but I actually witnessed this stuff. And, it, and it's so important to share it because, you know, when you ask people, they can only say, well, I read and, and so-and-so told me or they said, whoever they is, and, and you go with that. But I'm telling you right now, I witnessed this stuff. Strength training is so important when it comes down to many other things but we're talking about diabetes at this, this video right now so remember keep your strength training in there if you're not strength training start it's twofold you want your cardio you want your cardio you want your strength training and you want your diet okay it's like a triangle and within that triangle is a balance okay so you want you want your food and and your food good source of food okay good balance of that there you want your workouts good source of balance there and you want your cardio good source of balance there and you got to balance that triad to have optimal health okay not just cardio and and it's not just strength training because cardio is important too but we talking about strength training right now so guys I hope this made sense um you know share it if you think it, it, it'll help someone, because that's what I'm here for. Anyway, I'll see y'all guys next video.